Howdy friends, so I get asked all the time about how I film my virtual classes or how you can best optimize your sound for your virtual classes. So I wanted to break down that today. So today we are discussing if you are filming for your on-demand studio. So not Zoom. We'll talk about Zoom separately. So this is if you are filming for on-demand content. Just pointing that out. So how I would set this up is let's pretend I have a phone or an iPad or something right here that is filming. So when I film, I usually film on my iPad, I'm sorry, my iPhone 13 Pro because it has the capability of filming in 4K. But that's what's filming me right now, so it's not there. But let's pretend that it's right here. So for my sound, I have an Airline 77 um, Samsung microphone. This headset goes into this receiver here. So my receiver is plugged into my mixer. So the mixer here, you can see the line from my microphone receiver goes into the mixer where it says mic. So microphone into the mixer. Then I have an old iPhone that is attached to the mixer as well. So it's going into the second input into my mixer. So I have my royalty free music app that I use on this iPhone. So it's going to play the music which goes into the mixer as well. So now my mic and my music are both going into the mixer. So this is really important because I can control the level of these two separately so that they sound good when they go into the recording device, which is my phone. So then this mixer is what is called a USB mixer. So it's lying out here trying not to drop anything, this line out connects to an adapter because it's an Apple product, so we're gonna have like 18,000 adapters. This adapter converts the USB end of my mixer to a iPhone end here. Um, this one's also nice because it also allows you to charge at the same time if needed, and then it can also connect to my ethernet. So if I ever were to need to zoom, through my iPhone. Um, I live out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. So having ethernet is really important. But what I definitely need is the um, USB port here. So then I would plug my mixer into my phone. Remember my imaginary phone is right here. And so now my music and my microphone are being fed into my phone seamlessly so there is no echo or background noise, which is really important. So how do I hear the music that is playing from this phone? There is another output from my mixer, all the chords here. So if you're looking at my mixer here, this fourth chord, which is connected here from the output, is running from the mixer to my speaker, which is playing into the room. So this is what I hear so I can stay on beat while I am teaching. So I'm hearing the music through this speaker while my the recording device is hearing the very clean music and microphone via the mixer. So it's not hearing any of the echo that may be happening in my room or you can't see, but this room is connected to my kid's playroom right behind where the camera is. And so if the music and the microphone is going into this mixer and then into my phone, they can actually be playing in the playroom and no one on camera can hear them because all the sound is going through the mixer and then into the recording device. So that is how I film for my on-demand videos. I hope you found that helpful. I will be sure to link to all of these pieces of equipment um, in the comments or in my email where you are receiving this video so you can easily find the microphone and the mixer, all the adapters, tripod, I'll link to my ring light that is holding my camera right now that I absolutely love. Um, but always feel free to reach out if you have any questions.